Hello, bunny lovers, and welcome to Green Acres Lion Heads. This is Beginning with Bunnies, Part 2, but before we start, I have a couple of messages. First, I want to say I'm really sorry for the long time with no uploads. The baby bunnies were getting older, and I was busy, and I was going places, and there was so much going on. But I felt really bad that I was kind of, I don't know, leaving you guys hanging. So, I feel like I ought to make it up to you, so I'm doing this new series, but I do have a couple of questions for you first. Um, first of all, I want to do a Bunny Grooming 2 video with some of the new tools that I have and that I've gotten recently, but do you think I should include nail clipping in that video, or should it be its own separate, shorter video? Please tell me in the comments below. Second of these questions is I'm hoping there will be baby bunnies in the next couple of months if everything goes right and I sell all the ones I currently need to sell. Um, but should I do another baby bunnies aging series, day one, day five, day ten, day all, all of those? Because um, I had, first I had, had just baby bunnies, then I had Sunny's babies, then I had Sophie's babies. Should I just make this one Cupcake's babies? Do you have any other ideas for names? Should I even do it at all? Please let me know. That's another thing you can tell me in the comments. I love comments. If you have any just random, well, comments about the video, how cute the bunnies are, questions you have for me, please put those down below as well. Video suggestions are great. I'm always having trouble coming up with new ideas for stuff that you guys will find interesting. <laughs> Oh, and please, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, and if you could help, that would mean so much to me. I want to have a custom URL for my channel page that'll be easier to remember than the random combination of numbers and letters that I have, but unfortunately, I can't do that until I get 100 subscribers. And it's 100 is such a nice number. So will you guys please help me help the tiny baby channel with the cute bunnies? This sounds like one of those little kid shows that, you know, we used to watch when we were tiny where the main character would, like, turn to the camera and go, So, will you help me? Great, let's go! And pretend like we said yes. Anyway, so I'm going to pretend like you said yes, and I will now proceed with the video. So this section is on breeding bunnies. First, I'm going to start off, obviously, with breeding bunnies. Rabbits are famous for their reproduction, how fast they do it, how many they have, multiplying like rabbits. It's, it's literally a saying, but anyone who says that has not had to deal with a stubborn buck, or a stubborn doe, or the weather being wrong, or the circumstances being wrong, or you could have sworn they got bred, but it's two months later and no babies. Very annoying. But your part... <laughs> Having said that, your part in the whole breeding process is relatively small. All you have to do is take the doe to the buck's cage and make sure that everything goes okay. Always take the doe to the buck's cage. So let's say I wanted to breed Cupcake and um, Snowball over here. I think they'd make a nice match. Um, so always take the, the doe to the buck's cage. Even pretty calm does like Cupcake can be very territorial, and there's a good chance that they'll fight with the buck and not accept him if he enters their territory. It's... There are some cases where they won't fight, but just don't risk it. Always take the doe to the buck's cage. Not the other way around. Always. After all this time... Uh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Harry Potter references. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, once you have her in his cage, then... They may sit there like useless lumps and do nothing. In that case, there's a lot of things you can do. You can force them. You can put him on top of her. You can hold her still if he seems interested, but she's not. You can put certain kinds of vinegar in their water. Um, you can just search the internet for lots of things you can put in their water. You can buy special medicines, or you can just put vinegar in their water, which you probably have. I believe it's apple cider vinegar that you have to use, not just regular old vinegar. Now, if they are both interested, 
then the doe, well, or then the buck, the important part is if he's interested. The buck will start chasing the doe around the cage, and hopefully, eventually, he'll hump her and climb up on her back. She'll lift her rear end, that's called lifting for him, if she's interested. He'll wiggle his tail a lot, and she'll probably make some noises. And then if she's been serviced, if everything goes right, then he'll fall off backwards or sometimes sideways and make this adorable little grunting noise. It's really funny. And you know, every doe is different, every buck is different. Some take five minutes, some take 24 hours, some never get around to it at all. Some know what they're doing, some don't. Some completely ignore the fact there's a doe in their cage. You never know. But hopefully you have a buck who knows what he's doing and is ready to get to work. Like Smurf over here, for, exa for example. He's a professional. Anyway. So once the dough has been bred, I recommend, even if they have gotten it done right away and everything, leaving her in there for 24 hours just in case. That's what I do. You can take her out right away if you like, and probably nothing will be lost. But I say leave her in there for 24 hours just in case. Now, once you return the dough to her own cage, now Cupcake is back over here, you really need a calendar for this. First, mark off the day she was bred. That's very important. Um, if it if you left her in there for a couple of days, then mark all of them. Any of them could be possible days. Um, and then mark off 28 days after she was bred. That's when you put the box in. Then mark off 31 days after she was bred. And that is the day that she's due. Rabbit gestation period is about 31 days. About a month. Some people say 32, but 31 is what you hear in most reference books. Um, so once you've got all your dates marked on your calendar, then fast forward to 28 days, time to put in the nest box! I featured these in my bunny equipment and tools video. Now I use these sort of open metal ones. They're easy to clean. They have a wooden bottom, also easy to clean. You can also get wooden ones with built-in bottoms, but those are really hard to clean. Um, if it's really cold out, you can put extra insulation like cardboard or foam in the bottom. There's lots of different kinds of nest boxes. There are, uh, there are these, which, are, which I use for my smaller rabbits. There are some bigger ones that you would use if you had bigger rabbits. They make wood ones in both sizes as well. The nice thing about the wood ones is that you can build your own. You can also buy wire nest boxes that are shaped a little differently than this. They actually look more like a box and have sort of a V cut out on the sides. Those are used in warmer weather so the babies don't get overheated, but I've never had any problem with that. Usually, the only litter I had in really warm weather, they just kind of squirmed out from under the fur and didn't seem to have much of a problem. But if you're worried about ventilation, then you can get one of the wire ones. For colder weather, they have hanging type nest, nest, boss, ugh, nest boxes that are actually box shaped and they have a round hole in the front that the doe can jump in to nurse her babies. Also, if you don't see her ever in there, rabbits are pretty lousy mothers, don't worry about it. As long as the babies are being fed, and you can tell this by their full round tummies. Also, they have a bit of skin on the back of their neck. If you pinch that and it stays in a, like a little tent, then they're dehydrated. If it goes back into place, then they have full tummies and they've been getting enough milk. But you usually won't see a doe nursing her litter because she usually only does it early in the morning and late at night. I've only seen it like once or twice. And those weren't even my rabbits. I was feeding someone else's for them. Now you can fill the box with a number of things. Uh, there's special kinds of bedding you can get. You can use paper and newspaper. I highly recommend hay or straw though. It's easier for the doe to make nests with. It's easier for her to carry around, shape however she wants. Plus she can eat it as well if she gets hungry. Can't eat newspaper, although I'm sure there are rabbits that would try. So day 28 comes, you've got your nest box all prepared, whatever kind you've decided, whatever filling you've put in it. You put it in her cage, and then hopefully, not right away obviously, but hopefully within the next few days the doe will start to hay stash, which looks really funny. She puts hay in her mouth in a like a horizontal bundle of hay, 
and it kind of sticks out on either side and makes her look like she has a hay mustache. It looks really funny. Um, it's easier for her to carry around and make a nest, as I've said before, than some other kind of shavings or something like that. Plus, it's less likely to suffocate the babies or poke them or harm them in any other way, including getting in their eyes and noses, which can be very dangerous. If she starts pulling fur, there will probably be babies in the next 12 to 24 hours, maybe even sooner. They usually have their babies during the night or early in the morning, so you won't see much, and even if you are standing out here watching, you still won't see much. Right before kindling, the doe will lay in a sort of stretched out position beside the nest, next, ugh, nest box, and also right after kindling is when she has her babies. Only Sophie has had hers in the afternoon so far. Most of mine, I just come out here in the morning and there they are. There's usually a pile of fur in the back of the nest, just sort of gently moving up and down. So if everything's gone okay, the doe is bred, she has her babies, they all survive, the nest box works great. Then that brings us to the topic of the next video, which I will not be covering right now. But that's taking care of the growing babies when they open their eyes, when they come out of the box, what their development is like. I've done videos on those day by day. Um, weaning them, and what to do if problems arise. Because the hardest part of rabbit raising is the babies. Um, I think that's all I've got for you guys today, so I will see you in another video. Goodbye, y'all.